Hello and welcome guys. On this video, I will be explaining about Hypershade and Arno rendering. So on my previous video, I have been exploring around on the ideas of how to use uh, tools in Maya, how to set up a scene, how to create a models, stuff like that, just basic stuff. And I just, we made a wine glass with extra tools and curve tools on our previous video. And I made another, like my first video about basic tools, how do you use, how do you control stuff, how do you move objects, and now we move on to something more advanced and interesting. Even we, even though we don't have that much of a skill to create a proper good looking model, but at least we have a way to make it look nice. So today we'll be covering Arnold's rendering which is right here and when we click here we will have Arnold rendering on this option. So if you have Maya 2018 you should have this option or features built into your software. Okay so here is an image of Reapers from Overwatch I made for my final project using just the Arno rendering. So what are you considering for the rendering? You were considering about materials, the light, and the cameras. This is all about the thing that you should consider. So this is my rendering. So you can able to create something that really, really nice and good looking models. This is my rendering in like really poor quality since it takes too long to render. And how the light work and how shadow will cast on the object itself. So that is just another like basic idea that you should understand. If you learn something about photography, you need to you will be able to understand this quite quickly about how you set up the light, how like focus point and stuff like that. Don't really need to get intimidated by that. If you don't have much of skill or something about creating the rendering, I just make another one with a portal gun. And this is my first attempt trying to make it darker and stuff like that. You will be able to create materials, shiny material, matte material, glowing materials, and laborized materials. And it will be quite easy and fast. But then if you want to master it, again, everything in Maya, if you want to master it, it's going to take a lot of time. Okay, so before we go into another section about lighting, we should understand what is Arno rendering. Basically, it's a software that allows you to create a... Hypershade, a part of Hypershade that a material that you will be able to use it and make it look realistic when you're rendering it out. Alright, so we should start it right now so you will see and get the clear, clear image about this. So normally if you're using Maya, you will use Blin or Lambert, which is not that good if you ask me. It's gonna look so flat and so dull and when you're rendering as OBJ files, other software will perceive it nicely, but it's not gonna look that nice or that realistic. You will be able to see just put textures like it's like a pre previewing material for your clients or you to see how it might look like at the end. But then if you have Arno uh, rendering which is down here and then you go to here, surface shaders here, it's gonna be the one that called standard surface. Alright? So this will be the thing that you just look at it for now okay i want to try to make this informative as much as possible so i will select half of this and assign this as normal standard surface okay and what i need is i don't want to move on to lighting but since we need to see how it look like i will put a sky dome just to make it you see how it look like different from each other and when you put on the materials you will be able to click on Arno preview and press play to see how the material look like without wow that's just a bright sky I should change the sky because you cannot see anything without a light so yeah we go I hope you see the different you see that this one right here is the Lambert one and then this one is the standard surface Arno rendering hyper shade you see that it's more quite reflective and you have ability to like creating how light will reflect on each object something like that okay so I just leave the light like that and now we should start playing around in the hypershade menu the hypershade should be here if it doesn't work maybe you need to change the system language itself but when you click it in trying to go as fast as possible 
ignore all the other options, you will only care about the shaders which is the standard surface itself. So the way the shader works is that you create a material and you assign material for each of it. And now let me creating two of each material. So I assign this for the top material. Just you can assign your name as whatever you want. But now you see that both of it are running on using the Arno Hyper Shade. All right. So you can either play around on this option right here, each one by one, and see how it will change accordingly to the settings here. So you can change colors, stuff like that. Let me get rid for some reason. It's gonna take a while for the system to update, which is you don't need to care right now. So when you do, this is like more advanced option, but I will go through it quite quickly. So this is how much like blackness or darkness you add into the object. If you add it like the weight of this color applying on the material. Spectacular is like how shiny the object will be. Something like that. And you don't need to care about this as much. It's like roughness of the textures itself. Transmission is how clear of the object will be. So this will be applying for glass here, okay? So let add everything, a bit of everything so you can see, okay? And subsurface, you don't need to care, it's just like another surface where you can put another textures or something like that. So we go to admission, admission is how bright it will shine and the colors it will sh glow out. Let's make it blue so you can see now here. Okay, matte colors, if you want it to be matte, not Chinese, you can add that. Basically, that's about it for this, like, hyper shade basic settings. So you can go more at once and try to play around, trying to understand each one by one. But I recommend you stick with this first, okay? Let's say, for the top one, I will apply something different. So, what if you are lazy and you don't want to actually try to tune it to get whatever you want? You will have a preset here click on that you will see that they have a lot of preset that you will be able to use for example in this case i want it to be plastic now it's a plastic and then the texture will not change for some reason there you go whatever reason sometimes it doesn't update immediately then there yeah, now it's updated you could add it to be plastic or like a gold replace that now this thing will turn gold or something like that it's hard to see when the system doesn't update itself, which is quite annoying. I will try to do something here. Okay, let's play that. There you go. I hope you can see that. So now this is shiny and you can replace with clear waters. Now it's a water like textures, ceramic. So you can spending time applying this materials and see how different it will be. And faucet glass, something like that. Skin, you would take a while to render look like an actual skin. Uh, and light bulb is actually glowing. Blood. It's like a preset that you can play and try. And if you want, you can actually mix two of it together. Which, just say that you want to blend this with that 10% of gold. You can try that or you can replace it with deep waters. And you want it to be a glass as well, like 50% frosted glass. It will also work. So, and 70% bubbles and stuff like that. Or you can make it 90% wax. So, overall, it's just something like that. You put on a preset, you select whatever you want. You set the colors, somewhat what it is you need it. And then, or you can place the preset with chrome. Shiny colors. And select the color of it. Now you get this. So it's like playing around with texturings and stuff like that. So this is like a skill where you just play around and get somewhat nearest whatever you want it to be. It doesn't need to, need to be a perfect or it depends on your art styles or what you want it to be. So it's just like playing around with a color palette and a material palette. Alright, somewhat like that. So now that if you get the idea of hyper shade selecting materials and Arno rendering is allow you to like creating a realistic materials and now move on to rendering part so the rendering part you will be needed a ground and a light system I don't want to go fully detail about how lighting should work on this video but overall you have option attribute here to select 
how bright it will be, what textures of the background, temperatures and exposures and sampling colors, shadow colors and stuff like that if you have a ground here. It's gonna look a lot different when it's over. So this is quite short video where I just covering the Arno rendering. So this is just a part one. So see you guys on the next video where I will fully talk about the lightings and the ground and the background itself. So I hope you learn something about Arno renderings and realistic hypershade textures surface where you can just play around. You can just spending some time. You can creating multiple materials and just like multiple materials and li applying same similar colors and stuff like that and just apply it one by one or something like that okay i hope you learned something about that okay see you guys on the next video i hope you learned something again okay if you don't understand anything or if you want to watch my previous video click on the eye icon or link down below in the my playlist option all right bye